Hi, I'm Shireen Kassam, and I'm a TEDx speaker. I did a TEDx in January of 2022. You can take a look at it right here. I've posted it. I highly encourage you to watch it before you watch the rest of this video because I find that sometimes on YouTube we watch people for advice without really seeing their credentials and so it would be really important to see one, did you like my TEDx talk and my style before you listen to me take advice from me on how to be a TEDx speaker. So today what I'm going to do is walk you through the process of how I became a TEDx speaker. Okay, so first, what is a TEDx talk versus a TED talk? That is something that I get a lot, so I want to clear that up. I did a TEDx talk, and I'm going to read this so that I don't get it wrong. TED stands for Technology, Entertainment, and Design, with the slogan, Ideas Worth Spreading. That is super important. I'm going to keep repeating that ideas worth spreading. That is the message. That is what your application has to be about. That is what your talk is going to be about, an idea worth spreading. The main TED conference is held annually in Vancouver, British Columbia in Canada. It includes speakers from the world's most admired companies as well as emerging artists, scientists, and thinkers. So whenever you see a TED talk with a celebrity or someone famous or someone who you're like, wow, that person is super accomplished, most likely a TED talk. A TED talk is a short speech demonstration or performance around a big idea that is meant to educate shift people's perspectives to encourage positive change or provoke conversations that matter. Okay. Three really important things. Educate, shift people's perspectives to encourage positive change or provoke conversations that matter. That is the idea worth spreading. So what is a TEDx? A TEDx is an event that is a smaller conference that follows the TED standard and practices. However, X means independently organized, allowing smaller local events with the TED spirit. Anyone can apply to become a TEDx speaker and present their ideas with the style of the official TED conference. And I can tell you this, there are TEDx talks all over the world, okay? There's, I forget what the statistic is. I want to say there's five that happen every day or every week. So the chances of getting a TEDx talk are way higher than a TED talk, okay? So today I'm going to talk to you about a TEDx. I did a TEDx talk. The first step to doing a TEDx talk is having an idea worth spreading. Now, I didn't really have this. I did, it, I did my process a little bit differently. I found the TEDx that I wanted to apply for, printed out the application, and then I worked on my big idea. And that is a very tricky way to do it because if you don't have a big idea or it takes you a really long time, you could miss the application date. So I'm gonna tell you what happened with me. I wasn't actually planning on doing a TEDx talk. That wasn't really one of the, the things that I had listed down of things to get done, but I was on Facebook and I saw that a local uh, city next to me was taking applications for a TEDx event and I thought that's super cool all these people do TEDx events people always tell me I should do a TEDx talk maybe this is a sign and I took it as a sign and I went and I looked at the application printed it out and was like I can do this and let me tell you don't think that the application can be done in a day or even in an hour okay this takes a lot of time compare a TEDx application with your college application so if you did submit to colleges or universities this is how much time you should be investing in a TEDx application, okay? So now, I did it like that. I found the, I found the event and then I, I, I looked at the application. Some people will find, find their idea worth spreading and then they'll go and look for events that they wanna do. Because some people are very methodical about where they want to do their TEDx talk. There is a science behind it. I didn't, I didn't care about all of that. I just wanted to do a TEDx talk. And then obviously you need to know when the deadlines are, right? A lot of TEDx, uh, applications are due six months before the event so you need to plan ahead depending on where you want to do it now when I got the application it's a very lengthy application it requires a lot of thought and insight and I'm gonna make a separate video on the application process okay so that we don't make this video super long so you can check out the pro video on just the application process right here now the main part about the application process is knowing your idea worth spreading right making sure you have that solidified and making sure you have a bio making sure you know who you are and how to sell yourself and then you should also have a headshot especially because if you get in they're going to ask for the headshot for the website so make sure you get a good headshot something else i want to say is that not everyone who does a tedx talk applies right you can also be invited to a tedx event and then one more thing about the application process 
there's different applications, right? Some require a written application, some have a video application, okay? So that's also a difference. If you're not comfortable in front of a, of a camera yet, you may wanna look at places with a written application. But I will tell you this, if you get into a TEDx event, you only have six months to prepare. So if you're not a strong speaker or speaking makes you nervous, highly, highly recommend you start practicing on speaking and getting uh, speaking experience. So whether it's joining Toastmasters or joining some sort of club or an activity where you're getting that experience, being on stage in front of people, do it. And I know with COVID it's a little difficult, but do not rely solely on Zoom. Z performing in front of people on Zoom is very different than performing in real life. Now, some applications will actually have a theme. So when you go to the application, it's gonna say, this year's theme is home, or this year's theme is travel, or it could be something even more niche than that, right? And now your idea worth spreading needs to fall under that category. What I would say to you on those, for those, for those applications, look at past videos and see what the theme was and see how closely correlated the videos are to the theme. Because you don't have to be exactly on theme, but you just have to somehow fit under the umbrella. Applying to TEDx is very competitive, right? Very, super competitive. So it could be that other people had a better idea word spreading or yours just wasn't strong enough. So before you continue to keep applying, make sure you keep stopping and asking for feedback, asking for advice. But do not keep writing a new application or new idea worth spreading to fit the theme. Instead, keep making your one theme stronger. Because here's another tip. When you create your idea worth spreading, this is going to be your brand. This is who you are. This is what you're going to be known for, especially on the internet. Because when people Google you, your TEDx talk is going to show up. So you want to make sure, one, that your idea worth spreading is something you want to be associated with. And two, you also want to make sure you're passionate enough about the topic to eat, sleep, and practice this talk for the next six months, okay? So now you've got your application, you press submit, and then you wait, and you wait, and you wait. It's not really that long of a waiting process. It's about a month. And when they, when they look at applications, they sit in a room, kind of like a college application process, and a bunch of people read your applications and then there's a short pile and then there's the winning pile. And if a lot of people keep putting the, your application in the winning pile, you get, you get called in. If you get in the short list, then they have a discussion about your application. They decide whether they want you or they don't want you. Most places for their events will take 12 speakers and then have two speakers on standby in case one of those 12 either says no or falls off. Okay, then you get the call that you're in. And now you're about to become, on your way to become a TEDx speaker. Something to be very mindful about is when you become a TEDx speaker, it is, you are not on your own from then on, right? They have strict timelines for you. And this is most TEDx. Now, not all of them may be like this. It depends on how organized your organizer is. But they should give you a timeline of when they want to see your your first outline, your final outline, your first draft, your second draft, your final draft, when you're gonna have rehearsals, when you're gonna have dress rehearsals. There's gonna be dates. They may even give you a coach. Now a coach will be a past speaker or someone who's volunteered to be your coach. Help you through the process, help you answer questions, alleviate stresses, walk you through your drafts, give you ideas, give you feedback, stuff like that. Just kind of be there for you. Now. You get that coach and some people will go a step further and hire another coach. Now there's a lot of different coaches out there and some are better than others. So make sure you do your research. Start working on your draft right away. Okay, do not leave it till the last minute. You have anywhere from eight to 18 minutes to get across your idea and you don't have to use all that time. In our talks, they asked us to stay between eight and 12. They said that is the sweet spot because people don't have a, people have a short attention span. Think about TikTok videos, 15 seconds, 30 seconds. Now they're getting a little longer, but when it started out, they knew people had a short attention span. So you want to think the same way. Start writing your speech and you can write it at 18 minutes, right? But then you have time to get it smaller and smaller and shorter and tighter and concise. Cut the fat, okay? But it's important to start writing it sooner than later because that six months will go by fast. It will creep up on you. And if you're not ready with your talk, you're going to have a really hard time because once you get your talk solidified, you have to start to memorize it.
Yes, I said it. You are going to memorize your talk. There are no screens. There are no, uh, there's no helping hand helping you with your talk. There is nothing. It is on you to learn it, which is why you need to be passionate about your talk because you're going to be reading it, eating it, breathing it, sleeping it for six months. Now I didn't start the memorization process until two months before the talk. And I can tell you this, I panicked because four weeks into practicing my talk and trying to memorize it, I was still struggling and I could not understand why for the life of me, I could not memorize my own talk. So now you've written your talk, you've started the memorization process. Now you need to start practicing it. And when I say that you should be practicing it to yourself, you should be practicing it to your friends, to your family, to your dogs. You can be doing zooms. I don't care what it is, but you want to keep practicing it. Now, big thing, do not just rely on friends, family, and Zoom. You want to get out there in front of people you don't know, in front of strangers, and start practicing. So whether it's reaching out to colleges, universities, open mics, poetry slams, anywhere that you can, get on a stage and practice. Because let me tell you, practicing in front of people and practicing in front of your friends and family are two different things. Practicing on a Zoom call and practicing with a live audience are two very different things. And when you get on that stage, let me tell you, you can tell who practiced and who didn't practice, okay? So those are the four steps to killing it in your TEDx talk. Now, like I mentioned, I have a separate video on the application process, and I also did a separate video on the what to do after you get into a TEDx talk. What are the steps to practice and prepare and kill it on stage? Again, here is the link to my TEDx talk. Check it out, watch it, and let me know if you have any comments or questions. I will be in the comment section answering them all for you. Again, my name is Shireen Kassam. You can follow me on Instagram at Funny Brown Girl. Take care and good luck.